Good evening all. Welcome to Astro Research World. This is a web channel all about astrology. Actually, astrology is an art. So, that art utilizes the placement of planets to make insightful predictions to predict how life on the earth is going to develop. In fact, this is an ancient art and it has been around thousands of years. That's why we are going to predict how certain patterns of planet will affect things on earth. First, we are going to see part 1. In part 1, we are going to discuss about basics of astrology. In part 1 of basics of astrology, we are going to explore 12 units. So what are they? First, horoscope. Second, Rashi. Third, Nakshatra. Fourth, Lords and their ownership. Fifth, exaltation and depletion of planets sixth friends enemies and neutral planets seventh retrograde and combust planets eighth analysis of horoscope that is charts ninth kendra trikon stans tenth dustans hidden houses eleventh panchang Panchong is subdivided into five units. First, day, vara. Second, nakshatra, yoni. Third, yogas. Fourth, karanas. Fifth, the twelfth unit is planets, placement, aspects and their conjugation. So, what is horoscope? Horoscope is pictorial representation of planets from the view of the humans from the earth during the birth of that human being. Horoscope gives the exact actual detail of the planetary position at a particular second of a particular minute of a particular hour of a particular day at a particular place during the birth of that human being. Every human being's life is being determined based on the horoscope of that person. Second is Rashi. So what is Rashi? Rashi is part of the space in the sky from the view of the earth. All of us know that earth is spherical in nature. Hence, the sky has been given 360 degree view. There are total 12 Rashis. Hence, each Rashi has 30 degree. 360 divided by 12, we get 30 degrees. Let's see what are those 12 Rashis. First, Aries. Second, Taurus. Third, Gemini. 4th Cancer, 5th Leo, 6th Virgo, 7th Libra, 8th Scorpio, 9th Sagittarius, 10th Capricorn, 11th Aquarius and 12th Pieces. 3rd is Nakshatra. So what is Nakshatra? Total 28 Nakshatras are there. Each nakshatra has four padas. Each rashi has two end of nakshatras. So, each rashi has ten padas. Some nakshatras are unique in some rashis, whereas some nakshatras are common to two of the rashis. Let's see what are those 28 nakshatras. 28 nakshatras are as follows. 
first ashwini second barani third kritika fourth rogini fifth mirgashira sixth adra punarvasu pushya aslesha maga purva falgun uttar falgun hasta chitra vishaha swati anuradha jeshta mula purva ashada uttar ashada sravan danishta sadapsha purva batra uttar batra revati and abhijit Let's see which Rashis have which nakshatras. Each Rashi has three nakshatras. So what are they? First, Aries. Aries has Ashwini, Barani, Kritiga. Taurus has Kritiga, Rohini, Mirgashira. Gemini has Mirgasira, Adra, Punarvasu, Cancer has Punarvasu, Pushya, Aslesha, Leo has Purva Falgun, Maga, Uttar Falgun, Virgo has Uttar Falgun, Hasta, Chitra, Libra has Chitra, Swati, Vishaha, Scorpio has Vishaha, Anuradha, Jeshta. Sagittarius has Mula, Purva Ashada, Uttar Ashada. Capricorn has Uttar Ashada, Sravan, Danishta. Aquarius has Danishta, Sadapsha, Purva Batra. Pieces has Purva Batra, Uttar Batra and Revati. Let's see fourth unit, Lords and their ownership. So, which Rashis have which Lords as their owner? Let's see. Aries has Marsh as its owner. Taurus has Lord Venus as its owner. Gemini has Lord Mercury as its owner. Cancer has Lord Moon as its owner. Leo has Lord Sun as its owner. Virgo has again Lord Mercury as its owner. Libra has Lord Venus as its owner. Scorpio has Lord Mars as its owner. Sagittarius has Lord Jupiter as its owner. Capricorn has Lord Saturn as its owner. Aquarius has again Lord Saturn as its owner. Finally, Pisces has again Jupiter as its owner.